Yeah, I have um, very great reviews of Chelsea, and it's been very good having dialogue with her so far. So definitely, that was an attraction. What do you know about this Hawks roster coming in? Uh, I know that we're very young. We have um, a lot of people that were drafted that are very talented, and you know, especially they from last year, they overachieved from what they see on paper. Everybody was very much surprised and. It's exciting to see that type of energy around here. Well, and what do you feel you can bring to the team, and how does it feel to play with another Duke player? Yeah, it feels good, um, you know, to, to have memories that you share with certain individuals as far as Duke goes. And I just feel like I can contribute on every facet. And, you know, it doesn't, doesn't make it complicated for me to be up to court with anybody. You know, my, my skills kind of, you know, help, help that. What do you see your role, or what do they tell you about your role coming in? And there are, you know, a lot of young players that want to get some time too. Mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, you know, my role just control the controllables. Uh, you know, it's just, just as much as I put in the work that I'll get rewarded, and you know, then I'll do do that accordingly. The way you played in Washington, they wanted you to run down the floor, um, transition offense. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Hawks play at a super fast pace. Do you see yourself? thriving in this uh, kind of offense? Yeah, I, I do. Uh, I like to get up and down. On the fast break is the best form of, of basketball. Just get up and get out and trying to beat the other team down the basket. And that's a really good way that I see my skills improving too. What's different about you now? You've been a guy who's been able to score 20 points a game in the league, been through injury, and a veteran now. What's different from you, you know, where you were a few years ago and where you are now? Uh, just time and experience is pretty much different. Um, got, got a chance to have a healthy summer, which I feel very confident in leading up to the season. And it's just a blessing, honestly, just to be in this position right now, and, you know, making it to year five. Uh, making it through there and, and, and going into year six is is just a blessing though, as far as my health concerns go. Jabari, how did you sum up your career so far five years in? Um, I say that it was it's pretty been a good ride, you know. Like I had up and downs, but you know, overall, all that experience is is a good thing for me, and I just want to be somebody that kids look up to. And now that I'm able to be every form a player from a starter to a bench player I can relate on on all angles and that's a that's a great thing for me. Has it's any so players or, or anybody from the coaching staff reached out to you and spoke with you at all or? Yeah I've talked to all the coaches all of them and my former coach Greg Foster hmm. was with me in Milwaukee for, for four years too so that's um, you know very comforting part too. I guess what has this summer been like for you uh, in the process um, with choosing the Hawks, obviously, you know, here, mm -hmm. but how many teams are you talking to or really strongly considering? Um, I was, you know, I was talking to a few teams, but none of them had the attraction that, you know, Atlanta brings as far as, like, my career goals, you know, um, just had a basketball investment here, you know, money aside, I just want to play the game, and I just want to you know, being a place where I'm wanting, and this was a perfect opportunity for me. What about the defensive end of it? A lot of this may have, do you play enough? And this is clearly a defensive-oriented team, a mm -hmm. defensive-oriented coach. How do you see all that working out for you? You know, um, you know, if any, anything that I can prove on is, of course, my defense. It's a, it's a, it's a thing that I, you know, continually to, to do, you know, it's, to input the same amount of effort offensively as the defense, but you know, um, you know it's up from here. And you know, when I was a rookie, very lost year two, was trying to get better. But I think that I've become, you know, pretty well, and uh, trying to trying to expand my game in that way. Are you impressed as a Trey playing with a, a young point guard who can get a lot of people the ball and help the starters and the reserves play very well? Yeah, um, Trey is a very very great talent. You know, somebody that who can do so much on offense and, and making his teammates better while, you know, scoring at the same time is something that's very rare. So very looking forward to a leader like that. They say uh, they want to see at the three and, four, and the four. Do you have a preference or where do you think you fit? No, more? I really don't have a preference. You know, I can play any position when it comes down to it. And it's just a 
a matter of just trying to be here as soon as possible so that I won't be lost. And yeah, that's on me. You said the healthy summer was a blessing. Is there one part of your game that you want to work on since you have this opportunity? Yeah, it's just repetition. Just being on the court, just seeing the court, getting that feel, that love of the game. That's what I continue to work on because the day that it becomes boring, the day that I need to give the game up. So, you know, I look forward to, to getting better each and every day. And those types of mindsets go a long way. I've been doing them so far. We really like about Coach Pierce mm -hmm. as a person. Some of the things he explained, he wanted to go on around here. Um, he he's doing a very good job building this organization up, and we're definitely young. But his type of attitude, his optimism, goes a long way. And you know, we really you really appreciate coaches like that. You are one of the, the veterans on this team. I mean, how would you feel if you did come off the bench and some of these other rookies are starting ahead of you? Yeah, I, I figured that, you know, starting is pretty much a distraction. You know, I've been on the bench for, you know, two two seasons of my career. And, you know, the productivity that I have is, is pretty good. So, you know, as long as I'm climbing and doing what I can, the moments that I'm out there, I'll be in a good position. But, you know, like coming off the bench, I've been, been cool with that. Yeah. Do you feel like you have something to prove while, while you're here? No, I don't, I don't think I have anything to prove. I think that it's just a matter of me doing what I know what I, what I can do. And that's um, play this game I love. You mentioned before um, that maybe the Hawks overachieved a little bit last year. But I'm curious what your the perspective of them was last year as an opposing team, what they were doing. Yeah, um, you know, just from losing the head coach, from rebuilding, having a young team, a lot of players leaving. I didn't. I didn't expect them to do as as well as they did, and that's normal, right? Like, right. have a brand new face, have a brand new program. You have these teams that've been together so long, and they've done better than them. Is um, pretty much shock to all of us, but it's um, good things to look forward to. It's not known. Well, it's not known if Vince Carter is coming back, but everybody talks about how big his presence was. Mm -hmm. uh, your opinion in uh, uh, having veteran leadership in locker rooms, what that means, and is that something that you think you need to bring to the team with a lot of young guys on the roster? Yeah, it's just try to give my two cents when needed. I'm not the most knowledgeable guy like Vince, but just the little things that I can do to help is a, a big thing that I want to do. You know, it's all, all in the contribute to winning and it's all a good thing if it, even if it comes off harsh if it doesn't come off as pleasant you know it's all because we care at the end of the day and, you know that's what i'm learning how to accept and embrace and hopefully that i can you know give those same types of vibes off you know and vince is somebody that i idolized growing up and watched and to be his teammate is something i will always cherish and hopefully i can steal some shoes <laughs> I follow what Chris said. Is it from somebody from the outside? Is this becoming a destination? Do, do people around the league see what's going on here and that they're going through a transition? What they're building here? Um, I don't know that answer. You know, it's different for me because I signed here. I choose to come here. Uh, other guys may might have gotten traded, and that wasn't you know in their their books. But I've seen what's what's going on here, and. Uh, Hopefully that's up to us, that's up to me to, to propel the organization to get to where it used to be, and that's in the playoffs. What will the rest of your summer be until camp? Um, stay close to home. You know, I got a place in Chicago still that I go to that I still call home, and you know, obviously become kind of, uh, one at St. Mary's too, because I've me and my brother been working out there near the Bay Area, which my mom stays. So, you know, those two locations that I'll be in pretty frequently. Mm -hmm. Got two more. When you got to Milwaukee, I think it was the first <coughs> time in a long time that mm -hmm. the Milwaukee fans had hope, and it was because you and Giannis were kind of two beacons of young optimism. What did you think about him winning the MVP last year? You know what, to see him from from day one to transform to the person that he is today is, is a, a blessing because, you know, I can tell my kids and my program, what it takes, that dedication to become, you know, the MVP of this league. And 
it's a guy that I know. So, you know, those memories are shared and, you know, I had a little bit in that too, you know, that I'm very grateful for. And we all won at the end of the day by seeing him accomplish his goal. Anything else? Thank you, Barry. Thank you, sir. Thank you.